Hi guys, welcome back. This is Alex and now I'm going to talk about validating uh, forms and fields in uh, JavaScript by using Macromedia DreamViewer. This is our uh, registration page, the signup.php page of our project. And in the theoretical part, when we studied JavaScript, I explained some principles of uh, validating forms in uh, JavaScript, but now we will implement this knowledge in our project. So let's go to our editor and take a look at the code of this page. Here is signup.php. As you can see, we already have here some uh, JavaScript function that is validating a grid checkbox and the country field. We created this function in one of our previous lessons, but now I want to validate also all those text boxes. So for example, let's uh, make a small example. Let's choose this form. It's very important to choose the form before uh, doing anything. And now let's go to our tag inspector to behaviors and choose validate form. Okay, here we have the names of all our, of all our, our fields and the name of the form where those fields are located. We have only one form here, uh, here on this page sign up uh, form so all the fields uh, all the text boxes are from this form let's choose first name and last name to be required okay now take a look at the code of the form we can see here that some javascript function is added and also here we have also a, fu a function that was created by uh, our editor. Okay, let's save this page and let's try it. Here is our registration form. Let's refresh it. Okay, let's choose a country and uh, hit this checkbox because this is already uh, validated in other function. And let's hit submit. Okay, we can see that uh, the following uh, message box is generated where first name is required and last name is required. Okay, let's go back to our editor and let's choose the form again. Okay, let's double click on validate form and let's add also a required field to username and email. Let's save by clicking Ctrl S and go back and refresh our page. Let's choose a country and hit this checkbox. Okay, now we can see that still we are required to uh, fill the F name and the L name. Let's go back. Here we can obviously see that our F name is uh, submitted to the JavaScript function L name, but also username and email. So what is the problem? The problem is that in uh, JavaScript, uh, if you will use this uh, name user and email, they are keywords and they will not work correctly. So let's use here something like user email and and uh, here the username okay let's update this here as well at the function of course if we will use those uh, names correctly from the beginning we will not have to change it it will be just generated automatically and user email Okay, let's save the page now and let's refresh. Let's choose again a country and check the checkbox. Let's submit. Okay, now we are also required to type username and user email. Okay, great. Now I will show you another function. Let's choose the form again. Okay, we changed uh, the form, so let's hit refresh. Let's click, double click on validate form again. We can choose this email uh, to accept just email. We have some other options here as numbers and number range. Let's try this user email. Control S, refresh, choose a country and hit the checkbox. Let's 
also enter something in the email as simple number and then we will have we will have this message box my screen is just wide and that is why I'm getting uh, this box here uh, since I'm only recording small parts of the screen anyway uh, we can see here that user email must contain an email address so basically we can validate uh, that our email is correct of course if you're uh, more familiar with JavaScript you can adjust this function or just create a more uh, simple function as we did here I just wanted to show you in this lesson that we have also the option of uh, uh, the option to let uh, our editor to do this okay now I can finish this lesson if you have any questions contact me here on the page by email or by any other uh, contact options I want to thank you very much for your attention and I hope we will meet again in the next lessons bye bye